hi everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be on decorations on how I use just house utensils to make my choco banana cake look this nice I hope it does look good so the first part was on how I made choco banana cake in a pan so this is where we stopped last time this is my pan baked choco banana cake I will be putting a link to this in the description box let's start with today's video so I'm going to start with uh, shaping the cake I'm using a glass plate you can use any plate mine is round um, I'm going to go along the um, edges of the plate basically like tracing the uh, plate on the cake and I'm going to go around two times to cut properly and then I will give a nick in the at the top you can give a nick anywhere and push it away so you can remove the extra like that so after removing the excess or the extra pieces of cake we are going to smoothen the sides and make it as round as possible and that's it we are done with our shaping and that's our near perfect round shaped cake so very quickly uh, we will do the same with the second layer of cake also trace around the plate remove the extra pieces of cake then we smoothen out the sides like we did earlier very quickly So now that's that our second layer of cake is also ready now let's get to the chocolate leaves for the chocolate leaves we need a microwavable bowl dark compound chocolate and parchment paper and leaves I've used money plant leaves here I've washed them and I've kept it on a plate to let it dry so first we melt the chocolate I've used three squares of the chocolate but one of the squares is more than enough for just about two leaves so first we keep everything ready so those are the two leaves I'm using then a piece of parchment paper and chocolate now I melted the chocolate for about a minute in 30 second 30 second intervals and allowed it to cool before painting the leaves so now we start painting the leaves and we paint the back side of the leaves you do not paint the front and another thing you need to keep in mind is you should not paint the whole leaf you need to leave the tip or the stalk um, bare so you have something to hold on to when you're demolding another thing also that you need to keep in mind is not to make the leaf too thin and not too thick either this will come only by practice and uh, since this was my first time too my first one did split but it's since it's chocolate it is still usable um, the second one I was a bit more careful but yes this does take practice now these are done I had put them in the freezer uh, for about half an hour and uh, like you can see they are nice and crisp so to demold we hold on to the tip and we pull apart very gently and it comes out very easily with no problem I like that and it has all the details of the leaves I hope you can see so we shall do the same with the second leaf also hold at the tip and pull apart and you can see it's coming out very easily and nicely so now coming to the whipping cream I am using whipping cream powder and I'm adding milk cold milk as required so now before switching on the beater I am just um, swirling it to uh, wet the powder because I don't want it to be on my face when I switch it on suddenly and we will beat till uh, we get the required consistency so as you can see it has increased in volume and it has become whiter in color so um, here I have alternated between milk and water cold milk and cold water and you don't have to use both you can use either but I used both to get the consistency I wanted and I beat beaten it for about two minutes till I got the soft peaks which is what I wanted to frost my cake so 
now for our DIY turntable so like you can see I'm using two plates um, upside down one on top of each other and I have the cake placed on top of the upper plate and you can see it rotates quite um, easily quite well so let's start with the layering so I'm using a ladle like spoon like you can see it's um, the spoon or normally spoon we use for making dosas uh, so, so I took a dollop uh, plopped it on top of the cake and I'm spreading it as evenly as possible now while doing this be as gentle as possible do not press and uh, spread just slow gentle circular motions is perfect now we shall place the second layer of cake on top of this and give it a gentle press so we shall repeat the same here gently um, in circular motions we cover the top and now for the sides like you can see I am trying with the same spoon but it's not working so what I am going to do is switch my spoon so this is a spoon I'm going to use and like you can see it is um, flat on the back side flatter so it's going to be easier for me to apply the whipping cream on the sides so I'll take a bit place it on the sides like you see me doing and with the back part gently again do not press very gently just spread it as even as possible what I am doing here is basically a crumb coating so it's just um, covering the cake with a thin layer of the whipping cream And now for the top which doesn't look very presentable so I'm going to just very gently go over the top like this and hmm, not bad now to transfer it to a plate very gently with the help of a spoon just um, tip it slightly and it will very easily move to the other plate uh, like this and then you can position it and smoothen out the edges that is quite disturbed when you transfer it and uh, finally I will top the cake with this crumbled crushed pieces of cake now this I got by um, if you remember the excess cake that I cut off while shaping the cake I just crumbled one or two pieces of that and I am going to just sprinkle it over the cake and um, try to make a shape maybe I think it will look like a moon or a passing rainbow maybe I hope and now for the chocolate leaves so that is the intact one <laughs> and I have the other one which um, split so I'm going to put that like this so it actually looks like two leaves separate leaves and I am done my choco banana cake ready so this is how I made my choco banana cake at home using a pan and just house utensils nothing fancy so it's very doable very easy I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys will try it please do let me know how it came for you guys and um, till my next video see you bye bye take care